All right, so what this video is about is going to be the general shape of FreeCAD. There's a lot of like great tutorials and I'll link to them about actually using FreeCAD and how to get started to actually making something, but getting a general walkthrough of the actual software um, from a new, a new user's perspective might actually be somewhat helpful. So if you open up FreeCAD, you'll see your object and your object is created from a big old spreadsheet of dimensions. Um, FreeCAD is a parametric 3D software. So the idea is you want to calculate a bunch of parameters and then use them in your actual, in your actual object. So, so if we pull this up, we can see that some of these are just actually calculated from other oops other objects so what you can do is you can use this like an excel spreadsheet to you know make your objects so if you increase something you should see the whole entire thing kind of move uh, so, all right. So we use parameters to make these objects, but objects all start out as 2D, 2D planes basically in some way. So this object started out as a box. So we sketched out this box. Uh, and what you have to do is you have to give it strict parameters. So in this example, what happened is we aligned this equally between the origin. So that defined its X and Y position. And then to make sure it's fully constrained, which means it's, it will always be there no matter what. There's no, there's no way to other interpret this position. You have to also define the length and the width. And once it's fully constrained, then you can give it the extra dimension. So this is the origin of my box, right? So this is what it defined, this big old box right here. And then you can also define things to remove from the box. So here I defined an inner square, which will basically create a pocket inside there. So in FreeCAD, at least for beginners like me, the only thing you have to do is you have to define 2D drawings and then either use them to build up or build away. Now, one stumbling point for me learning this is, you know, you're clicking through and this thing up here changes and this UI changes. And that's because FreeCAD is actually like multiple applications in one. So the main things you're gonna be working in is Sketcher, which is this place where you are defining, you're drawing your 2D shapes. And then Parts Design is where you start to use your 3D design. So this is where you can uh, build things up you can take things away and down here you can use like transform so you can uh, this guy right here I only made the left side these three squares and then I just copied them over to the right side um, but because they are multiple different applications if you're working in one and you made some modifications so if I did plus one you're kind of locked into this section. And if you go to anything else, it will all be like grayed out. And that's because you haven't finished what you're doing basically. So, you, so just roll back here, hit cancel, and then all the, your UI will become usable again. Now, if you want to actually start going down the road and start learning FreeCAD, just just know that there are, <laughs> there are a few like hurdles you have to understand. Now, 
And one of them comes down to the nature of FreeCAD being such a big program. It can kind of feel kind of hodgepodgey. Uh, and a good example is that is with the spreadsheets. So pull this up. So to allow you to allow you to use this spreadsheet in your application, you have to create these aliases. So if I go up here, you'll see that this number is alias to this word. Now, normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to go to test, you have to give it a number. Now, and these things aren't linked right now. There's nothing telling them that they are linked up together. So you have to go up here and you have to give it this, the alias of test. And now, now it becomes yellow and now this equals what you expected. So people have made macros to link these up. So there's a macro called easy alias, which will do that. But it just seems one of these things where it's so fundamental that it should just be baked in. Uh, another thing is once you start getting multiple pieces, once you start needing to add and stack these, you'll have to use a program called Assembler 3, A2 Plus, or Assembly 4. <laughs> there are three different programs to actually assemble these. They all do roughly the same thing, just in different ways. So the community in FreeCAD is kind of split on actually which direction to go with actually putting things together. So. It's kind of weird in that way, especially because assembly three is not related to assembly four. They're completely independent projects. It's not a continuation. Another bug that kind of makes designing in FreeCAD a little awkward is in all the tutorials, everything is referenced from the origin as in like zero zero in the entire plane. And that's because of this weird bug where if you if if a new plane comes into existence, the names of all these planes change. So you can't reference a, well if you reference a say the top plane of this box, if your object goes into view and creates another plane, all the naming scheme will get off and it can kind of get uh, twisted around. And I'll show you a link to that, uh, but with a better description. But it's this is one of those bugs that's been around for a long time and it has it will hopefully get fixed sometimes next year. Um, if you go to FreeCAD, uh, <laughs> this software has been around for almost like 20 years. So um, it, it's quite impressive where it is, but in my mind, it should be, you know, I guess it's a hard problem to solve, but it should be more feature complete. But if, if you do go down, it's a, there's a lot of power to it. So, and just one last tip, if you ever go about trying to export something for your 3d printer, like an STL, make sure if you ever got, if you click this, and export what happens is you're going to be exporting just this specific section and it's your 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 3 pin is going to freak out so if you ever go to around to exporting things always click the base the base part and then go to export so your 3d printer actually knows what you're trying to do yeah and that's that's <laughs> Basically all I know so far about FreeCAD.